Hello and welcome to the Terrace Kitchen with Pixel's Mom. Today I will be making a refried beans which I will be later making into burritos. This recipe comes from my friend Kathy. This is the ingredients that you will need for this. You're going to start out with dried pinto beans, approximately three cups, 24 ounces, rinsed, having the stones taken out and any dirt that may be in there rinsed. You will need a large medium onion or so, chopped up. You will need seven cups of water, chicken bouillon, garlic, cumin, and I am adding red pepper flakes and Italian seasoning as well. To cook this, it'll be in my handy little crock pot. It's on high for nine hours. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the seven cups of water in right away and let it start cooking. And then you're gonna to wanna to check on it every couple or so hours to make sure it doesn't dry out. It should take approximately nine hours and you will want one cup of water reserved in case your beans do start to dry at all. For this, you're going to basically put all the ingredients into the crock pot. I have already rinsed the beans already, and they are ready to go into the crock pot. I'm going to add them in. I'm going to add our onions on top of that. Our chicken broth seasoning. Our garlic. And our spices. And then I will proceed to add the seven cups of water. I have added six cups, and this is the final cup for the seven cup of water. As you can see, it is all going to combine nicely together. It's very liquidy. The beans and everything are all in there. And as I said, we will be cooking this on high for approximately nine hours. Our refried beans mixture has been cooking for about an hour and a half now. As you can see, it has gotten somewhat thicker. There's still plenty of water, so there really is no need to add water at this it time. It is now 11 a.m. Our beans have been on the, in the crock pot for about three, three and a half hours now. And as you can see, they are definitely starting to thicken up. The aroma is amazing from them. I did take the time to add some salt and pepper because I realized I did not add it in when I first started cooking it. And I added a tad bit more red pepper flakes because I do tend to like things on the spicier side. <laughs> the beans have been cooking for approximately five hours. You can see how thick they've gotten. So now is the time that we're going to be checking them every hour just to make sure that they do not get too dry and dry out. Okay, we're down to the final hour of our beans cooking. As you can see, they have gotten extremely thick. They still have that extra liquid that I put in there. And I do believe that they will be fine for the last hour. We're gonna let them cook for one more hour as I just stated, and we should be ready to let them cool off a little bit and get them all mixed together. Our beans have come to their full nine hours of cooking. And as you can see, they are very, soft and very hot from the steam as you can see and they have got a great thick texture My beans have cooled off enough for me to use the immersion blender on them I, I, I wanted to let them cool off because they do get a little hot and I don't want it to splatter on me if it does this is going to be a little bit loud I'm going to start this and then I will continually finish it and then you can see what it looks like when it's done okay I've been emerging this for about a minute now as you can see the soft and like a pasty form and that is basically what the inside of a burrito is supposed to look like I'm gonna give it a couple more little plate safe to make sure that we got it perfectly right and it looks good to me so our next step is going to be to actually get this over to our other station to get ready to assemble okay I have my burritos all lined up our Syrian Tortilla flour wraps are what we're going to use to make our burritos. We have a nice, thick, pasty refried bean that we're going to fill our burrito with. You don't want to overfill these because they will blow out if you're not careful. I think you put about maybe a couple tablespoons in this. Maybe just a smidge bit more. And then we're going to wrap it and then wrap it in our tin foil. We're going to take it like this all the way down and wrap it and then once you're done that you have a beautiful burrito you're going to wrap it singular 
so that when you put this in the freezer, it is separate and you can take out one of them at a time. And when you're done, you should have about 8 to 10 burritos that look just like that. I'm going to wrap the rest of them up and I'll be back momentarily. I am, however, thinking of putting one in the oven so that I can show you what it looks like when it's cooked and what it is it looks like on the inside. So I think I'll make one and put that in the air fryer just so that you can see that as well, too. I'm going to show you one more that I'm making, and then I will continue to make them up until they are all made. And then you just roll it up in our little old paper here. And it'll be ready for when I'm ready to cook them. The purpose of doing them this way is because I can only eat one of these at a time. And it's it's easy to keep them stored in the freezer this way. And it's, it's actually really good for the burrito because then you don't have to defrost them all at one time. You can just take one out at a time. I'm gonna, I'll be back when I get the rest of them made. Okay, my burrito has been taken out of the air fryer. It is nice and golden. My favorite way to eat them is with a little bit of salsa and some cheese on it. And you can see how good it looks on the inside. All nice and beans and very soft and very yummy. As you can see by my stash over here, I did manage to get 11 burritos, 12 total, counting the one on my plate. So I think I should be all set in my freezer for a while for burritos. So now let's do the best thing and give it a taste. See how it is. Looks nice and very firm, but yet soft all at the same time on the inside. Still a little warm. I can still see some of the steam coming out of it, but I think I'll be okay. Let's give it a shot. Mm, way better than store-bought ones. Very fresh. You can taste the beans and the spices that I put in it. It's amazing, the flavor. All right. I want to thank you all for joining me today on my channel. Give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your family. There's so many different things you could do to this burrito. You could add chicken to it. You could add um, hamburger if you eat meat. You could add crumbles, which would be a vegetarian version of hamburger. Many different things you could do to this. A little sour cream on this would be amazing too. Okay, thank you so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care now.